Hi guys, welcome to a drop spot. So it's the Ambit Finance Testnet. There is going to be a reward for participating in this testnet and it is very easy to do. So I'm going to be showing you everything you need to do to complete it. So the first thing we want to do is go to chainlist.org and then add BNB smart, uh, smart Chain Testnet to uh, MetaMask if you don't have it already. So I'm going to paste the link to Chainlist in the comment section for those who have not yet added BNC Testnet to their wallet. So that they can do that then approve the network and then switch your network to bnb testnet now after adding bnb testnet to your metamask the next thing you want to do is to go to bnb faucet and then we are going to claim some testnet bnb to do this testnet interaction you also find the link to the faucet and every other link i used in the comment section for your convenience so paste your EVM address here and then tap on send 0.3 BNB. So complete the capture so that you can be able to move on. After claiming the testnet BNB which we are going to be needing for gas fee, you can then go on to the Ambit Finance faucet itself and then claim other test tokens that you can also use. So we are going to dev.ambit.finance slash faucet. Then first, to access the website, you need to agree to their terms of service. Tap on I understand the risk. Now, for you to be able to connect, this connect button on their faucet is not working. So what you are going to do is tap on the person icon here. Once you tap on it, then you are going to see option for wallet, then tap on MetaMask or whichever wallet you are using. Connect your wallet. Then go back, press the back button on your phone. Now you can see there is mint button instead of connect on the faucet. Now tap on mint to mint other test tokens. And confirm the minting in your wallet. Now that you have successfully claimed the test tokens on Ambit Finance, then tap on that person icon again. So Ambit Finance is a borrowing and lending protocol and that is what we are going to be performing today. So the first thing we want to do is to deposit into the lending pool. So tap on deposit. Tap on deposit at the top of your screen. Now this step, you are going to tap on skip. Do not approve unlimited because you'd have to go and be revoking approval later. Then uh, indicate the amount of tokens that you want to add to the lending pool. I want to add 250 USDT. Then tap on approve. It is better to set your custom spending cap for every time you want to approve a spend than to approve unlimited spending. Tap on next and tap on approve. Deposit completed. So you can also add some funds to your portfolio. Let's go back. Now tap on portfolio. Tap on the plus icon to add funds to your portfolio. Indicate the asset that you want to add to your portfolio. Tap on select. I will be adding some BNB to my portfolio. Tap on OK. Skip. Do not approve unlimited spending. Now indicate the amount of tokens that you want to add to your portfolio. Then tap on supply.
Then confirm the supply in your wallet. Now you can see your transaction status at the top right on your screen where you see something like a clock. So this activity is still pending. However, while it is still pending, I will go OK. So it is completed. I will go on and move on to the last step. Tap on health and borrowing. You can see my health score is still 1000 over 1000. You can see because I have not done any borrowing yet. So tap on borrow at the top of your screen. So your borrowing amount is going to be dependent on the amount that you supplied to their lending pool. So based on the amount of USDT I supplied, I am able to borrow up to 49 USDT. So I will be borrowing 35 USDT. I won't be borrowing the entire amount. Then tap on borrow. Then confirm in your wallet. The borrowing is successful. Now you can let's check my health score again. So you can see my my health score was 1000 by 1000 before now it has jumped to 140 over 1000. In order to improve my health score I'm going to be repaying some of the loan I borrowed so tap on repay. Again, do not approve unlimited skip. And then indicate the amount of USDT that you would like to repay out of the amount that you borrowed. I borrowed 35 USDT so I want to repay 20. So tap on approve. Confirm in your wallet. Now that the approval is successful, then I can repay my loan. So tap on repay. Tap on confirm. Then you can check the status of your transaction here. And then you can see that the repayment is successful. Now I only have 15 USDT in my loan. Now let's check my health score. It has improved from 140 over 1000 now to 327 over 1000. If I repay everything I am owing, then my health score will be back to 1000 over 1000. Lastly, there is a gas task. You will perform some social tasks and then claim early bed out on girls. You will find the link to their girls in the comment section as well. So since they are just social tasks, I won't be featuring how I am doing it here. And then once I am done performing all the tasks, I will come back to claim my oath. However, if you have any question about this uh, test, just drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. And if you have found value in any of my contents before, make sure to give me a like on this video as well and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now, after performing your testnet interaction, remember to follow Ambit Finance on Twitter and also join their Discord server so that you can stay updated to their announcement and news and when they launch mainnet so that you won't miss out on anything. So I am done performing all the social tasks. I'm going to claim my oath now and points. You need just 10 cents worth of mainnet BNB to claim this oath.
Now, early bird oat and the point have been successfully claimed, and that is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another tutorial.